Here is now a rectangular prism. Or to be totally exact, it is a right rectangular prism. In, in common everyday speech, we call it a box, okay? To find its volume, therefore, you have already learned that we multiply those three dimensions. The width and the depth and the height, or you can call them the width and the length and the height. Anyway, multiply those three and you get the volume. Now, there's another way to express this formula. Another way you can think about it is that if you notice the width and the length, or width and depth, whichever you want to think about, these two dimensions multiplied together actually gives you the area of the bottom, right? The area of the bottom. The bottom is a rectangle, so you find its area by multiplying these two. So I can write another form of the same formula. You can take these two are the same as the area of the bottom times height. All right, let's solve this problem now. Find the volume of a room with floor area of 9.5 feet times 12 feet, and then height of 8.5 feet. So here we have our fractions. Okay, if I mark here in the picture, let's say this is 12 feet, this way is 9.5 feet, and the height is 8.5 feet. Let me first multiply to find the floor area here. 12 feet times 9.5 feet. Okay, here's a mixed number. So to multiply with it, you would convert that into a fraction first. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So we get 12 feet times 19 over 2 feet. Okay? And now, here in this expression, the 12 times 19, and then there's divided by 2. I can simplify just a little bit, because instead of dividing by 2, I can just cancel that and in the beginning multiply by 6. So it's 6 times 19. And that is 60 plus 54. It's 114. And our unit here is square feet. That's the area of the floor. Okay. And now, to find the volume, I will take this and multiply that times the height, okay? V for volume would be 114 square feet times the height, 8.5, okay? Again, 8.5 needs change into a fraction, we get 17 over 2. So there's 114 square feet times 17 over 2. Here I will simplify again take just half of 114, which is 57. And now we will multiply 57 times 17. There's 49 and 39, 7 and a 5. Okay. So, I'm running out of space, okay? But the total volume here is 969 cubic feet. Okay, so we didn't get a fraction as a result because they cancelled out and stuff. Now, how much volume is lost if the room height is reduced to 8 feet? If the room height is reduced to 8 feet, it will go somewhere here. How much volume is lost then? You could think, you could solve this in two different ways. You could solve first how much is the new volume, how much is the volume if you use 8 as a height, and then subtract this and your new result. Or you can just think of this part that will be taken off the top of the room, so to speak, because it is a box too. It is a box shaped or rectangular prism here too, and its height is half a foot, right? This one, because it is reduced by half a foot over here. So I can just calculate the volume of a rectangular prism with the same floor area and height of half foot. And that's how much the volume is reduced, okay? So I can take the floor area, which was calculated here, times the height that it is reduced by to half the foot. So this is 114 times half, or half of 114. So that is 57. And the answer is again in cubic feet. That's how much the volume would be reduced. 
And the new volume, of course, would be that number minus 57 cubic feet. Okay. All right, we are all done with this, and I hope this was helpful.